I don't know if we were allowed to know this or not, but I think one of your players told us that the goal, the challenge Friday was to hold Indiana State under 50 yards. I recognize not every matchup is, is sort of equal, but how much do you feel like you can maybe raise the bar for this defense already in terms of really sort of saying we expect some, some really impressive numbers out of you guys? Yeah, I don't make a yardage goal. That's not one of our, our things that we do. I want to see our guys play as hard as they possibly can and do their job at max capacity. So I don't, I don't say, hey, this is a declaration, you know. So that's not a, a thing that I focus on. I'm a, I'm a process guy, not a results guy. Obviously, results matter, right? It's about winning football games uh, and playing really good defense that can win games. Um, but it's about the process to me. Um, can we elevate? Yes. Is there an even higher level to us on defense? Yes, there is. You know, so um, we reward the things that our guys have done really well, but we point out this is where we have to be better. So uh, that's been a big focus of ours. What were your immediate takeaways from, from Friday night's game you know, in terms of your guys' unit? I mean, did, what, when, you watched the, when you put the film on, what did you come away thinking? Yeah, I think uh, coming out, the effort – was what I expected it, it to be at a high level. Um, I do think we stepped off the gas at one point and um, didn't play to our standard. And the expectation is our standard all the time, so we're very critical of, of that. It's not about who the opponent is. It's about us every single week. I said that no different than Ohio State or Indiana State or here we are playing Louisville. It's, a, it's about us every single week. And, um, again, honor the good. Here's the things we have to get better, and there's plenty of coachable moments in that game. Matt, obviously with Louisville, uh, you have a coach in Jeff Brom who not only is new to there, but he coached in this league recently. Mm -hmm. From a coordinator point of view, I know the film from the two Louisville games is paramount, but do you also look back at some of the stuff he did at Purdue? Can that be fool's gold a little bit? How does, that, how does the mechanics of that work? Yeah, I think um, he's been very successful calling plays throughout his career. Everybody knows that. Uh, he has a system that he believes in. So that was – you know, I start no different than in, this, in the summertime of you're studying your first couple opponents and you're saying, okay, what is the system, right? And there's obviously familiarity in this building with the system from uh, numerous games. Um, the study of that is important, but it's also about personnel too. What do guys do best? You know, so who are the people at Louisville and how do they function best? So that's a, that's a big part of it too. So you have a background of, okay, from a system standpoint, then you also know, okay, how does this personnel feature? Hey. Uh, Nicholas Schumer is a six-year uh, senior uh, who's really impressed so far. How, uh, how is his ceiling, uh, and how far can he take it? Yeah, Nick's done a great job. Um, he's a guy that – I say this all the time from the press box during games. Um, sometimes you could tell the guys that are battle-tested, right, that, especially in early games. You know, uh, this guy's a young guy making maybe young guy mistakes, or this guy's a veteran who has a veteran presence. Nick has a veteran presence. You could tell that he's – played significant steps before, obviously, at Stanford. Um, so he's elevated his game every day in the way that he competes. He's physical. He has length. You saw his, you know, range to be able to go intercept the pass like he did, but you've also seen him mix it up in the, you know, perimeter run support and, and edge control and things like that. So, no, please with Nick and uh, expect him to continue. Hey, Coach. Um Marcus Burst is a guy that transferred in, but is still a young player, um, wasn't at the previous school for very long. What have you seen from him since you can't, guys kind of came in at the same time? And, you know, how, how good do you think he can be? I think Marcus would be really special. Um, he has position flexibility to be able to play inside and outside because he has athleticism and size, um, and he practices really hard. And I think you're starting to see that transition to the games. You know, the sack that he had was – probably somebody else's sack initially, but he just kept fighting through and, and was the guy that downed the ball, you know. So, um, to me, his game, you know, is going to have a big-time future, and it's the way that he practices. And this last week of practice, I mean, busting his, his butt like crazy. It was awesome. We hear all the time about self-evaluation, whether it's players, staffers, whoever. Um, for you, as you kind of look back, you know, a few games in here, how would you kind of evaluate yourself, where you've improved, and kind of what's the next step for you here? Yeah, I just – Take it one rep at a time. You know, what, what can we do as a staff? What can I do as, you know, as a co-DC and a safeties coach to say, okay, here's the best possible plan for our guys and to put them in position to be able to go execute that. And that's, that's really all I care about, right? How do I try to, you know, contribute as, in, in the best way possible? You know, it's not, again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a process guy. You know what I mean? So it's take the feeling out of it good, bad, and different. Be objective. What does the film say that you're doing well or you need to get better at? Uh, continue doing those things that you're doing well and then address the things that aren't and keep fixing it, you know? So um, 
Yeah, that's what we've done every single. I'm not trying to give you a cop out answer, but it's just a hey, one rep at a time. You know, your process. You know, no matter who the opponent is, it's about us, and we just go to work. Obviously, as his position coach, you've been able to work with Lewis Moore quite a bit. Just you know, what's he kind of like as a person away from the field? Is there any kind of story that sticks out about him? Um, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's a guy that uh, is always checking on everybody. He cares. He's a great teammate. Uh, he'll come to me, hey, Coach G, you doing all right? You know, that, he's that kind of guy. And uh, he's high energy. He loves football. He's passionate about being here and doing that. I think something that sticks out is he has an offensive background, right? So I think um, some of the you know, plays he's able to make from a range standpoint or reading, keying, diagnosing. I think that helps him because of his offensive background. But um, to me, he's, he's impressed from a physicality standpoint and communicating and being a leader at a safety position. Kind of looking at the performance of the front seven, whether it's the D-line or the linebackers, how would you assess how they've been playing through the first couple of weeks and, and what's next for them? Yeah, Dave, we challenged them early on. It all starts up front. You guys have heard me say that before. It all starts up front. We challenged them early on, and I think for our first two weeks, they've taken that challenge, you know. Um, each week, though, right, it's got to continue to climb, you know. So that's been our challenge every single day. It's technique and fundamentals. That's what wins games, not some guru scheme, right? Um, and uh, we've challenged those guys. But I'm, I'm pleased with the effort from that standpoint. There's plenty to clean up from a technique, fundamental standpoint, from a schematic standpoint, but the effort has been there, and I think there's, they've been intentional about being physical. Yeah, sticking with the front seven, have you seen their play make things easier for the rest of the defense, like with the secondary and stuff when they're getting pressure? It always is, right? So uh, rush and coverage work together. It's easy to cover people when you're pressuring a quarterback, right? So if you're able to um, get home with your four down or whatever pressures that we have, it, it takes pressure off of the back end guys. And the same thing for the run game. You know, if you're able to, you know, do a really good job winning your gaps or playing a gap and a half at times and things like that to take pressure off of secondary pieces, that's critically important. If you don't have that, right, then you end up in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations in the back. And um, there's, a, there's a time and a place for that. Um, but you don't want to be in that situation all the time. Thanks, guys.